Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to know how can we iterate over the rows. There are various methods to iterate over the rows, such as using index method, using lock method, using ilock method, and there are several other methods too. And we are going to see them one by one. So let's first of all import pandas as pd. Import pandas as pd. Let's run it. So my pandas is imported. Now I am going to create my data frame and I am going to use the employees dataset CSV file. So df is equal to pd dot read CSV and provide the name of that CSV file. And let's see the head part. So let's see what are the columns in it. So I can see that there is a name column, gender, start date, last login time, then salary and several other methods, uh, several other columns are also there. Right. Now I'm going to iterate over the rows. So first method is, let me put the first topic that is using index method. And in this, we are going to use a for loop for iterating over the rows. So for index in df.index. So as we know that df.index provides me the indexes. Let's first run that only df dot index. And if I run it, I can see that it tells that it starts from zero, it uh, ends at thousand, right? So it means this loop is also going to start from zero and end at thousand. Perfect. Let's remove this. So for index in df dot index and colon, what I want to print, print df at column name, so copy this, paste it over here, at index, right? Because I want to print every name. That means my for loop is going to start from zero, end at thousand. So every element of this column, that means first name will be printed. Why and how? Because this for loop is going to run from zero, end at thousand. So every element present at that particular index will be printed. So let's see what happens. So I can see that every name I'm getting, right? Now with this name, I also want their gender, right? So let's put a comma and df at gender at index. So if I run it, I can see that name and gender is getting printed. So this is how I'm iterating over every row element, right? So this was using the index method with a for loop. Now let's put the second topic that is using lock method. In this, we are going to use for loop only, but with that lock method. So let's use for index in range length of df. That means this for loop is going to run thousand times because the length of this data frame is thousand. So let's put a colon. I want to print df dot log then square brackets put that index and comma and the name of the column. So name of the column is first name, right? With this, I also want to print their gender. So again, df dot lock square brackets index comma gender. If I run it, I can see the same result. So these were the two methods that is using df dot index and df dot lock. They are just printing the row elements of the columns that I have provided here. So first name and gender will be printed. Let's take one more column. So let's copy this start date and we will print df dot lock square brackets index comma paste it. Let's run it. I can see that all the row elements of these three columns are getting printed using the lock method. Now let's see the third method that is using ilog that is index log. Method. So syntax will be almost similar. So for index in range length of df put the colon and we have to print the same thing. Just we have to write df dot i log square brackets then index and instead of that column name, you have to write the index of that column. So if I come 
over here, I can see that first name I want to print and first name is present at zero index, right? So let's print zero and df dot i lock index square brackets index comma the second thing is male or female and that is presented index one so one and if i run it i can see the same result now let's say i want to print the start date also so i will copy this paste it over here and instead of one i will write two let's run it i can see the three column elements are there perfect now using the fourth method fourth method is iter rows function so in this we have to run a for loop for i comma r so we are getting two counters in pf dot iter rows function then this colon and we are going to print r at first name i'm going to tell you what is happening and i'm going to print r at gender if i run it i can see the same result so this r is nothing but the row so i that is index comma r that is row right so row at first name that means that means row element of first name row element of gender you have to print and this will run unless and until we reach to the end of the data frame so this is how we can use iter rows for iterating over the row elements now we have to see the fifth method iter tuples so in this also we have to use a for loop so for row in df dot iter tuples and we have to print and over here we have to use a keyword and that keyword is get attributes in which as a parameter we have to provide this row which is a counter right and comma you have to provide the column name so my column name let's take gender this time and let's say we print the second column elements also so we have to write one more time we get it it here provide the in, uh, counter then you have to provide the column name so let's take the column name as let's take something different this time let's take the salary so let's paste it over here and we can print it and we can say and we can see that the gender and the salary is printed so this was using the iter tuples method now we have to see the last method that is using apply method. So let's put the topic sixth method using apply function. So in this we don't have to use a for loop. We just need to print a statement. So print and we are going to use a lambda functions over here. So first of all df dot apply that means we have to apply this lambda function. And which is that lambda function? I'm going to type lambda. We have to uh, initialize a counter that will be called row. And we want to print the row elements of this gender column. So let's print it. And we also have to provide the axis because this gender is a column, right? That's why axis will be one. Now, if I'm going to run it, I can see that all the uh, row elements of gender column are getting printed. So this was how you can uh, iterate over the row elements of a particular column. So these were the six methods. And if you want to give us any suggestions or feedback, you can do that in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video.